Aquarians, welcome. Your very special heart spread read. Timeless read today. Taking a step out from the Meet the Soulmate read, which is up for the end of November. Uh, so you can go to my channel and find there. I always do Aquarius and Pisces on Saturday. So from last Saturday, you can find the end of November. But today, using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck, um, we are going to look at the uh, number two position which is normally how I read the person that you're thinking of that's on your mind your heart and relate them to you now we're going to look at your look at you and your own relationship with love and romance however you want to look at that and uh, I kind of see it as anyway the first house seven house and astrologer the read itself is structured I really look at it from that point of view and this uh, here you have the person you're thinking of but this is the person that's the other whatever it is you're looking for which as Jung said was the anima and animus that we have inside of us this idealized version of the male and the female if you're a male maybe uh, maybe what you uh, want to be in terms of male have internalized that as a childhood and uh, if uh, a male you might project your female aspect and it uh, it doesn't matter if it's gay it's like still the same concept you know um, this has to do with our interpersonal relationships when we were young but the point is uh, if we kind of understand that I think we can take better control over our manifestations is the core issue here and so over what we get what comes in what we see coming towards us in terms of love and relationship and since it's the heart spread read this is normally for someone that's interested in um, um, romance and um, has someone on their mind. It might be good to step back, take a look at it from this position, Aquarius. So, you're coming in with the Knight of Wands. Normally, this is, I'm going to look at where you're at or in and around love and relationship. Where's your mind? Where's your heart right now in terms of love and relationship? And you come in with this fire energy. Um, I'm thinking I was just looking at something on Kiron today uh, after watching um, a tarot uh, lecture or an astrology lecture about the Kiron asteroid. It, but something might be going on in Aries for you that's significant because um, you may actually have a lot of Aries energy. Mercury, Mars, Venus could all be there or anyone. Um, naturally but um you're someone that's you're you're either actively manifesting um you're very uh, confident about it uh, the, if nine of wands is action above all else um you're someone that if you feel like that something wants to happen you would be like i'm i'm the one to make it happen i got no problem you know it's like you might not necessarily ask someone else you might just do it yourself <laughs> of this kind of energy. It might be feeling strong too. It might speak to someone who's a little bit younger, uh, feeling strong, feeling confident, feeling secure. Now, normally this would be your person. And I'd be kind of looking at where are they in terms of love and relationship as they come into your uh, ballywick of life. But here, this Eight of Pentacles, which is a wonderfully positive card. Both of these are very positive. I don't know, I feel very positive right now. Um, with this, uh, which is nice because I've been kind of rough here lately with the readings. But, um, but this implies to me that you've been doing the work. It also implies, you know, you got to keep doing the work. So this is not, ooh, thunder. Yeah, see? I don't know if you hear that. It's kind of like confirmation. You keep doing the work. You've been doing the work. Um, I comes to mind too, like the work never ends. We never get to this place where we're done, you know? Um, so I definitely get the feeling we have a manifester here. Someone very active. The Eight of Pentacles is the hard worker card, good worker card, but this is, I think, the hard work of love and relationship, whatever that means to you. The soul work, the inner work, the shadow work. Wow. And now, normally this would be, how are you feeling about this person that you're newly engaged with, this other person? How's your energy striking you, your knight of wands that you are right now? But here, this ace of swords refers to 
um, how is this uh, um, relationship you have with love and romance that's projected into the seventh house of the other? Um, what is uh, going on in terms of that? I got to tell you, I, I, uh, it, this seems really positive. When I take these together, it's like you're really taking action and you're, this is doing the right thing. It's making a strong statement. It's being clear and it's being forceful. I mean, the Knight of Wands is damn uh, forceful. Um, you're being a very bold um, here, Aquarius. And, and maybe even a shows a precision, I mean, as, as a manifestation goes. I mean, so far, it just feels like somebody's banging on all cylinders. Because this is fantastic. So you've got the good worker card. And to me, this is the card of balance. There's nothing to do with choices here. This is all about balance. And this is now, normally this would be the position of how does your person feel about you. But uh, it's really an advice card in this reading. Um, this own projection. I, I, I... I feel like the what the advice is here is like that's uh, my advice. I haven't got advice from spirit. It's going to be these three cards, and then the outcome. But steady as she goes, I think you got this, guys. I got the overall energy. There might be some kind of healing going on, necessary time out going on. Um, this doesn't have to be long a four week period something like that Aquarius now this is the advice from spirit normally this is the advice from spirit towards your person here um, but now it's the advice from spirit towards how to best uh, handle this projection this manifestation energy um, and it's to looking it's looking back at the knight of wands you get two two knights in the your side here of the reading um, I can only uh, see that as being kind of slow it down accept the fact that it might not come right away don't interpret the fact that it's not coming right away as if there's anything wrong with what you've been doing or what you're doing so I think you're doing everything perfectly so it's kind of like talking about getting some kind of balance in you um, now with the night you know and here look this is all balance here really the eight of one eight of pentacles a good worker card this is two of pentacles balancing your life and it's all personal energy this is you taking life by the balls and you know taking control here i mean like in the best way um now the fact that this knight is looking back at your knight of wands, this knight of pentacles, it's the slow moving. You have slow moving lightning and the fast moving knight. The slow moving knight is like coming along and it's like the fast moving light's going, he doesn't even stop to say what's going on. He's going like there's a fire. So this is kind of a balance there. But maybe the reason this knight of pentacles is looking back is because of this need to maybe uh, rest up for a few minutes here. Gained your strength somehow. And my God, man, look at this. Two of the worker cards in the deck come out together here. And now this is normally the advice from spirit for your other person in terms of how they relate to you. But in this reading, it's uh, more about an energetic advice. Really, it goes with this Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, a cooperation you may have a tendency, Aquarius, to want to do everything yourself. You know, uh, when I said that when we first came in, like, if you want something done, you know, because you can, maybe you're pretty good, you know. I know as an astrologer, one of the first things I learned, anybody has an Aquarius uh, Mercury is a smart. <laughs> Definitely has a, a capable mind, if you want to say it's one very capable mind. So maybe you are, but this kind of implies like the... And this is kind of not like the advice of like, hey, this is kind of like this gentle advice trying to just how do we uh, integrate things in the best alignment to get the best bang for our buck in terms of manifestation. And this is through cooperation. And so I think it's kind of like if things aren't happening right away, don't lose faith. Stay in sync with manifestation. Keep trusting in manifestation. Uh, stay firm and whatever it is that your manifestation is 
That's what this Ace of Swords represents. Which, and you're, again, you're, they're doing everything right. Everything right. This is a solid reading. Oh my God. I, what I just said a second ago, that's this. Okay, so we can move along. That's this. That's exactly this. But now it's inviting. Now it's not just me. It's like, thank you, Spirit. I can say, thank you, Spirit, for backing me up. Very completely backs me up. Everything I just said. Yeah. Everything's going right. Uh, I, would, I would just add, uh, I, I can see my Facebook page. You look in the description. And I'll put a link, too, to the Soul Family Read there, too. So you can check that out. It's a daily collective. See if you relate to that. Um, um, but I think of this concept of the, I call it the astral train. In, in the 5D, uh, we've already manifested. It just hasn't quite got to us yet because time doesn't exist there. And I think that's what this is saying. It's like whatever it is you put out there in terms of love, that's Ace of Cups. Uh, it's coming. Wow. Hmm. So back to the Four of Swords and the healing. There's some thought process, thought pattern, thought program uh, that you have to leave behind. And I think that's what it is. And it's about uh, a, just a negative thought, something that's negative, and it's messing up your manifestation. Um, it can be pretty subtle, you know, but it's 100% what it is. I mean, I know what this would be for me. I mean, I, I, it's not always easy, but you've got a lot of promise here with this Ace of Cups. And I all, and this is it's not a huge deal, but that could be the advice here. There's something about your thought processes that are kind of negative. It might just be around, and boy, do I relate to this. It's like your manifestation's not coming like that, and you're getting a little frustrated, and you're like, you know, come on, spirit, what the fuck? Um, a little bit of that energy. But I think, like, the advice for all that is that we're supposed to be living, maybe that's what the Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Wands balance is about, is that we're just supposed to go on living our life, being happy, and da da da. And, you know, once we put the manifestation out there, which you've done, and just let it come to us, you know, let it come together, give it time. But I also think, too, I know it's not a love reading, but you might have an air sign that's going to come at you out of this. And you definitely manifested them. It's this Ace of Swords. It's like, I don't know if you were manifesting an air sign specifically, um, but, you know, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, Aquarius. All right, guys, so thank you. Um, you know, uh, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Thank you, guys.